Picture this, you started life as a single cell smaller than the period at the end of a sentence, but through an incredible process called cell division, that one cell became two, then four, then eight, and eventually the trillions of cells that make up your body today. Welcome to Seismic, I'm Matt, and today we're exploring one of biology's most fundamental processes, how cells create copies of themselves. By the end of this video, you'll understand the cell theory that changed science forever, witness the incredible process of mitosis, and discover how cell division is happening in your body right now as you watch this. Let's dive into the amazing world of cellular reproduction. Before we explore cell division, we need to understand cell theory, three simple statements that revolutionized our understanding of life itself. It all started in 1665 when Robert Hooke looked at cork under a microscope and saw tiny box-like structures he called cells because they reminded him of monastery cells where monks lived. Over the next 200 years, scientists like Anton van Leeuwenhoek, Matthias Schleiden, and Theodore Schwann made more discoveries that led to cell theory's three fundamental principles. Principle one, all living things are made of one or more cells. Whether it's a tiny bacterium, a towering redwood tree, or you, every living thing is cellular. Principle number two, the cell is a basic unit of life. Just like atoms are the building blocks of matter, cells are the building blocks of life. Everything alive does metabolism, growth, response to environment, all of that happens at the cellular level. Principle number three, all cells come from other cells. This was revolutionary. Before this, people thought life could spontaneously appear from non-living matter, but cell theory established that new cells only come from existing cells dividing. These three principles remain the foundation of modern biology and medicine. Understanding that all life is cellular helps us understand everything from how we grow to how diseases spread. So why do cells go through the complex process of division? There are really three main reasons, growth, repair, and reproduction. First, growth. When you were born, you had about 26 billion cells. Now you have around 37 trillion. Every time you grew taller, gained weight, or developed new abilities, it was because cells were dividing to create more cells. Second, repair. When you get a cut, scrape, or bruise, specialized cells rush to the site and start dividing rapidly to replace damaged tissue. Cell division is your body's natural healing mechanism. Third, reproduction. For single-celled organisms like bacteria, cell division is reproduction. One cell becomes two independent organisms. For multicellular organisms like us, specialized reproductive cells undergo division to create eggs and sperm. But here's a key limit. Cells can't just keep growing bigger and bigger. As cells get larger, their surface area can't keep up with their volume. They reach a point where they can't efficiently transport materials in and out anymore. So they must divide in order to stay healthy. Cell division solves this problem by creating two smaller, more efficient cells from one large cell. It's like splitting a crowded classroom into two smaller classes. Everyone gets better service. Before a cell can divide, it goes through the cell cycle, a carefully orchestrated series of phases that ensure division happens correctly. During G1 phase, the cell grows larger, produces more organelles, and carries out its normal functions. It's like a factory ramping up production before a major expansion. Then comes S phase, probably the most important part. The S stands for synthesis, and during this phase, the cell makes an exact copy of all its DNA. Every chromosome gets duplicated, so each new cell will have a complete set of genetic instructions. During G2 phase, the cell continues growing and produces proteins specifically needed for chromosome condensation and division. It's like final preparations before the big event. Throughout the cycle, there are checkpoints, like quality control inspectors in a factory. These checkpoints ensure DNA has been copied correctly, the cell is large enough to divide, and everything is ready for the next phase. If something's wrong, damaged DNA, insufficient resources, or incorrect chromosome numbers, the checkpoints can stop the cycle and either allow time for repair or trigger cell death. This prevents problematic cells from reproducing. Now for the main event, mitosis. This is where one cell actually becomes two. Let's watch this incredible process step 
by step. First, prophase. The copied chromosomes condense and become visible under a microscope. Each chromosome consists of two identical sister chromatids joined at the centromere. The nuclear envelope starts breaking down and structures called centrioles move to opposite poles of the cell. Next, metaphase. All chromosomes line up at the cell's equator, called the metaphase plate. Spindle fibers from the centrioles attach to each chromosome. It's like organizing all the chromosomes into a perfect line before the big split. Then, anaphase. The sister chromatids separate and move to opposite ends of the cell, pulled by the spindle fibers. This ensures that the new cell gets exactly the same genetic information. During telophase, nuclear envelopes reform around each set of chromosomes, and the chromosomes begin to uncoil. We now have two nuclei in one cell. Finally, cytokinesis divides the cytoplasm and organelles between the two new cells. In animal cells, the cell membrane pinches inward. In plant cells, a new cell wall forms right down the middle. The result? Two genetically identical daughter cells, each with the same DNA as the original parent cell. The entire process takes about one to two hours in most human cells to complete. Cell division is usually incredibly precise, but sometimes things go wrong and understanding these problems helps us appreciate how amazing normal cell division really is. Cancer occurs when cells lose their normal division controls. Instead of dividing only when needed, cancer cells divide constantly and uncontrollably. They ignore the checkpoints that normally prevent problematic division. Sometimes chromosomes don't separate correctly during division, leading to cells with too many or too few chromosomes, and this can cause genetic disorders or even cell death. Environmental factors like radiation, chemicals, or even normal cellular aging can damage DNA. If this damage isn't repaired before division, it gets passed to daughter cells, potentially causing problems. Understanding cell division helps doctors treat diseases. Many cancer treatments specifically target rapidly dividing cells. Radiation and chemotherapy work by disrupting the cell cycle in cancer cells. Scientists are also exploring how to enhance beneficial cell division, like helping the body heal injuries faster or regenerate damaged tissues. Understanding the basic processes opens doors to incredible medical advances. Right now, as you're watching this video, millions of cells in your body are actually going through division. Your skin cells divide every two to three weeks to replace old ones. Blood cells are constantly being replaced. Even your taste buds completely renew through cell division every one to two weeks. If you're still growing, cell division is literally making you taller and stronger every single day. During growth spurts, the rate of cell division increases dramatically in your bones and muscles. Every time you heal from a cut, a scrape, or a bruise, you're witnessing cell division in action. The new skin, blood vessels, and other tissues are all created through cellular reproduction. Understanding cell division connects you to cutting age fields like regenerative medicine, cancer research, and even developmental biology. Maybe you'll be the scientist who discovers new ways to control cell division to treat diseases or enhance healing. From the cell theory that revolutionized biology to the intricate dance of mitosis, cell division is truly one of life's most fundamental and amazing processes. Every living thing depends on the ability of cells to create perfect copies of themselves. Understanding these processes opens doors to careers in medicine, research, biotechnology, and so much more. Cell division is the heart of everything from cancer treatment to tissue engineering. Now, don't forget to subscribe for more amazing science videos. And let me know down in the comments what aspect of cell division amazes you most. Thanks for exploring the incredible process of cellular reproduction with Seismic. Want to explore more about cells, biology, and life processes? Check out our complete middle school science curriculum at seismic.com, where every student can learn, grow, and achieve.